What's up guys? So today I'm going to continue to talk about credit, credit scores, how to build your credit, how to improve your credit score. Um, but I start off by saying that most of the information I'm going to discuss today is in a book um, called Credit is King by Will Roundtree. This is where I got most of this information from. Uh, this one has some really good tips in it, um, uh, but you can find the majority of the information just on the internet. But this has some good tips. He was a residential uh, uh, loan originator and uh, also owns a credit repair company. Um, so some good tips in here. Uh, so today we're going to talk about what is in a credit report and the factors that make up your credit score. So um, what does a credit score do? Basically, it predicts to lenders, to banks, um, the likelihood of you being 90 days late uh, on your uh, on your credit report in the next 24 months. So what is the likelihood that this borrower is going to be late in the next two years? Um, what's the likelihood that they'll be 90 days late on their payment? That's what a credit score predicts. Um, and there are several factors that they take into account. Uh, the first and most important one uh, is 35% of your uh credit score and it is your payment history you cannot be late if you are late even one day late usually one day late um, it will ding your credit score uh, significantly so your payment history uh, makes up 35 percent and it can get more detail with 30 60 90 days late but you cannot be late if you are late or have been late that is going to make up 35 uh, percent of your credit score so the best thing that you can do for your credit score is pay each and every debt that you have on time every single month. Um, the next is the amount owed or credit utilization. So how much of your available credit are you using? Uh, credit utilization makes up about 30% of your FICO score. Um, so what does this mean? Um, you don't want to use all of your available credit so just because you have a credit card doesn't mean you should carry a balance of that entire thing so a good rule of thumb is usually you want to carry 30 percent or less so if you have a credit card with a limit of a thousand dollars you want to spend three hundred dollars or less or carry three hundred dollars and less when that uh, uh when that statement comes around um and then you'll do really good when you keep it under ten percent under five percent uh the lower the better Basically, when you've used a lot of your credit, uh, lenders assume, and rightfully so, that you're living beyond your means. You're using your credit because you don't have enough cash. So you want to be super disciplined and only use your credit when you absolutely need it and keep it under at least 30% and as low as possible. Um, the next is length of credit history. So you can't do anything about this if you are brand new, fresh out of college, or you can't do much about it. Um, but in general, you want long-standing uh, credit history. So you want uh, lines of credit that have been opened for, for several years. So this takes time. You can't just do it over one year. You've got to prove over years and years that you're consistent and responsible with the use of your credit. Uh, so length of credit history uh, is about 15% oh, uh, of your FICO score. Um, the last two are each about 10% of your FICO score. It's new credit and types of credit used. Um, so you don't want to, so new credit and these, it says, are a little bit uh, less understood uh they don't know exactly how these are factored in but in general you don't want a bunch of new credit that you don't necessarily need so you don't want to just keep opening cards keep opening cards it'll ding your score a little bit and the types of credit used uh now uh so that can be uh revolving credit and installment credit so if you don't know what those are i'll make sure i talk about that in another video but you want to use different types of credit. Now, one thing that's very important if you're looking to buy a home, if you plan on purchasing an FHA home, uh, Federal Housing Administration loan, 
the underwriters will typically like to see at least three positive revolving lines of credit reporting at the same time. So this is important because depending on the type of loan that you go for, um, they'll want to see different things on your credit report. So if you're looking for an FHA loan, which uh, a ton of first time home buyers are looking for, you'll need three revolving lines of credit. So an example of this, uh, or they'll typically like to see three revolving lines. So an example of this is three credit card lines uh, opened in good standing. Um, and that, for whatever reason, is what they're looking at uh, when they are pre-approving you and approving you for a loan. So those are the different types. Um, those are the different things that will affect your credit score. I hope this is helpful and I will be bringing more information to you soon in the near future. Thanks. Bye.